you about the, the medical wonders of marijuana. <laughs> you know what? That's just who I am, and I'm not perfect. And and I don't I'm, I don't think I ever will be perfect. But as long as I'm perfect enough for you, that's all that matters. I love you so much, monster. So, in honor of freedom, and in honor of my fans who who are you have a uh, what is this freedom choreography tonight? Can everybody in the audience? Can you all see what they're holding up? Make sure you turn them around so everyone. You know, it was um, just a couple of years ago that I wrote this song for the first time and uh, it was written about all the difficult times I had in high school and I had the most amazing week this week. Did anybody watch uh, my perfume launch or anything at the Guggenheim? Well, what I did there was I, I got to do my first ever, like, pretty much real performance art. I mean, I, I would consider all my whole life to be performance art, but I guess my first uh, piece that was considered to be a, a fine art piece because I was allowed to do it in a museum. But the reason that I chose the Guggenheim Museum is because when I would get really sad in my school, which was two blocks away, because all the girls in my class would walk around the corner to smoke cigarettes, and I didn't smoke cigarettes because I, I'm a singer. Well, not I mean, none of that matters anymore. But I, 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 I didn't smoke in, in high school or anything, so they would all go smoke cigarettes around the corner, and I felt so left out, and I had nobody to hang out with. So I used to go down to the Guggenheim Museum, and I would look at all the modern art, and I would cry. And to be honest, it, it didn't make me feel any better. It made me feel worse, because I felt like, It made me feel like, man, I'm really shit at music, I'm really shit at art, and I've got to work harder. But what I'm telling you is, is the other day, I slept in the Guggenheim, and I did a performance piece about fame. And I did it in that very museum where I used to go to cry and to, to, to try to work out my emotions about feeling so excluded. So tonight, this is for all of you. I don't know where that place is that you go when you feel left out, but let's... Let's share that space tonight and remember that it's as easy to change the world as it is to change your fucking hair.
you have sometimes and all my sweet fans I see always crying during this part of the show and it really breaks my heart but I know that we have a real connection so that's all that really matters, right? That we have a real one. to 
to try to work out my emotions about feeling so excluded. So tonight, this is for all of you. I don't know where that place is that you go when you feel left out, but let's let's share that space tonight and remember that it's as easy to change the world as it is to change your fucking hair.